Hey Rob, so it's your girl April and this video is going to be beauty on a budget but there are some basically I would say medium end products like Too Faced. They're really to me not too high end but kind of in like between the threshold as well as the new Morphe palette that I purchased along with some other new products. So if you're interested in this look and if you're interested in the hair that I'm actually wearing, this is from Nubian Bar. This is a color number 10 and it is the Yaki straight hair. I did do some customizing to the closure as well as the bundles, which if you're interested in this actual hair and how I achieve the colored roots and the style, you can always check my channel. I'll post the video for you girls below and I think that's about it. Yeah, so stay tuned. I do introduce some new products which are super affordable like Wet n Wild, Eco Tools, as well as a new eyebrow definer pomade that I've tried out just to match my brows or my hair a little bit more because my hair is of a lighter shade. It's a tint number 10, which I absolutely love, but I needed a little bit of lighter brows. So I decided to try something new. So yeah, so I'll see you girls on um, my next video and stay tuned for the look. Okay love, so we're going to get right into this video. This is the Too Faced Nourishing Facial Primer. I absolutely love this. It's actually been helping my oily skin. So my makeup has actually been staying on all day. So I will be picking up the full size product of this. But I'm going to say this is beauty on a budget for this product because I actually got it free with the purchase. I think it was either $34 or $36 of Too Faced products from Ulta. So now I'm going to go ahead and brush my eyebrows and I'm going to be using one of my new eyebrow definers which is Votre Vu Daily Brow Definer in the color Fair. I'm just going to use my duo spoolie here and I'm going to place it on my brows. For a more in-depth uh, tutorial of how I do my brows you can check out my channel. But this color is going to match the hair that I'm going to use. As you see it may look a little grayish on camera but it's actually not. So I do like this one. It's more or less like a dip brow pomade and the consistency is really creamy. But the one thing I would suggest is once you place it on your brows, you do allow it to sit for at least a couple minutes before you go ahead and take your brush and rub it into your brows. And as you see, I'm just going to go ahead and you know basically draw on my other brow. Now brushing it on, I'm going to use one of my Makeup Cosmetic um, q-tips and basically mold my brows sculpt them to the shape that I want and this is what I do on a daily basis I love these actual q-tips you can get them from Sally's Walmart what have you now the one color that I'm going to be using to define my underbrow or just make it look really clean is the matte concealer in studio finish NC 45 now this is really not the color that I like to use on a daily basis I did run out of the NC 30 but I'm trying to use up products that I've purchased prior so I'm going to go ahead and place that over my brows and underneath them to clean them up and make them look like they just were done Now I'm going to also use the Ben Nye Media Pro Special Highlight in HY1 Yellow and this is another concealer that I purchased some time ago and I really don't use it a lot because to me it's really oily so I'll place it over top of the matte because that'll actually give the consistency that I want and also the actual long wear product that I want. And now onto my Milani eyeshadow primer. It is time to prime those lids. You do need an eyeshadow primer if you want your eyeshadow colors to pop as well as to stay on throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and place that on my entire lid from top until up about my basic brow bone. And I do let this dry for like a couple of minutes as well because it is creamy texture. So I do like it to dry. That allows the actual product to stick on a lot better. Now onto my new Morphe 9C Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm going to be using this one here and I'm only going to be using that yellowish color just for a brow highlight because I didn't want it too bright. So I'm going to use like this off eggshell whitish color. And the brush I'm using is the MAC 242.
Now onto my Morphe 35K eyeshadow palette, which is nothing but warm colors. I love this palette. And I'm going to take that rust color brown. I'm going to sweep that above my crease up to my brow highlight with the Sonia Kashuk brush. This brush is amazing because it gives you full coverage. You don't have to constantly go back and forth to pick up the product. This one does a lot of work for you. And I was really skeptical about this palette because I really thought that they were very like comparable to the Coastal Scents, but actually the colors are more intense. Now onto a darker color. This is more or less to me like a barkish color brown. I'm going to take that into my crease as well as sweep that up. And I'm just going to go back and forth with windshield wiper motions. And this time around I'm going to use my MAC brush. I really can't remember the number of this, but I'll post the information for you girls below. And I'm just going to go back and forth with windshield wiper motions and back into that Morphe 35K palette. This one is a brown color, but it has some frost or shimmer to it, which is a really pretty brush. I mean, excuse me, color. And I'm going to use a Morphe brush. This one is a really nice brush. It does give a lot of color impact and it covers a lot of eyelids. So you want to be careful if you don't want to cover a lot of your eyes with this in general, then I would not suggest using this brush. But it does blend very well and their brushes are super inexpensive so I will be going back on their site and picking out some more brushes as well as a couple other eyeshadow palettes because I do like the intensity. The color payoff with Morphe is amazing. Now onto my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. You girls know this has been around for years. I'm going to go ahead and use my Sonia Kashuk brush and just blend that into my lower lid. Now back into that Morphe 35K palette. This is more or less like a very frosted champagne color and I'm going to sweep that over the entire lower portion of my bottom lid and into the inner tear ducts of my eye. And I'm also going back into that MAC 242 brush just to pack it on. I like this brush a lot. I've had this brush for like, oh my gosh, like, oh, I would say like seven years. Yes, this brush is amazing. The MAC brushes do hold up, but if you're looking for something that's a lot less um, expensive, so meaning inexpensive, you can check out the Sedona Lace. Now, onto my favorite, which is Eco 2's, their five-piece traveling set. I do have a lot of their brushes, and this one I am very amazed with. I'm going to take this really small blending brush, and this is great for reaching like the inner corners of your eyes or smoking out the bottom portion of your eyes, and to fill in or not fill in but to line my eyes I'm going to use the new Kat Von D tattoo ink eyeliner marker in the color trooper which is a black color this marker is absolutely a must-have if you love eyeliner markers the color payoff on this is really dark and it's really simple to use the velvet tip or what have you is really soft and the consistency of it is great. A lot of markers don't have a lot of color payoff. You have to constantly go back and forth with them. But for this one right here, it works really, really great. And I did pick this up from, from Sephora. It was $17. Now, one of my favorites, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in yellow, I'm just going to use that to lighten up underneath my eyes. I'm going to let that set for like a minute or two, and I'm going to go back into my Eco's Tools 5-Piece Traveling Set, and I'm going to blend that in. These brushes are super affordable. You can pick them up basically anywhere, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS, you name it, you can pick these up, and they are great brushes if you are on a budget and you want some really good brushes. Now, my favorite foundation of all time is Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Honey. And honey, and I'm going to place that all over my face. Um, I use like about two pumps 
and that's about it and I'm going to take my Sedona lace brush which is the flat buffer brush and I'm going to slightly go from inwards to outwards with this foundation this foundation girls is oh my god I truly love this it gives a great coverage as all as well as the color match is perfect but it does last all day and your skin looks so flawless in this so if you haven't gotten around to trying this product out I would highly suggest checking out the Too Faced Born This Way foundation Another favorite of mine is the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Foundation in the color Beige 6. I use this only to highlight underneath my eyes as well as sometimes on my face. And I'm going to take one of my favorite Beauty Blender sponges, which is by Real Techniques. And I'm going to place that upon or underneath my eyelids to brighten up the area. And this is just the first step to my highlight. I love this foundation. It does set your makeup really well and it does last. It's a matte, matte foundation, but it has long wear. Now while that's drying, I'm going to place my Too Faced Size Queen Mascara. You girls know I am like a Too Faced junkie by now. And this brush on this actual mascara is amazingly big. It's huge, so you don't need a bunch of applications, but it will make your eyelashes look flawless. What I have on is actually individuals, but I do clean them every night by just removing them with um, eye remover, remake, eye, eye remover, makeup on, or eye makeup remover, um, and I use a different spoolie for that. So yeah, I love this mascara, so it's one of my faves. Also, another inexpensive product is Elf Moisturizing Foundation Stick. This is the color Nude, which I love because this is great for highlighting. It's $6 on Elf, and it's way worth it. And I'm applying that with a Morphe brush as well. This one I like to use just for this particular thing. It's a great blending brush, but I'd rather use it for applying my concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and dab that in and blend it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge, which you can pick up at Ulta for $5.99 or also Walmart as well. Do you see the highlight of that e.l.f.? E.l.f., please do not sleep on e.l.f. because they are bomb.com. I love e.l.f. They are like really inexpensive, but they do have good products. So I would highly suggest checking out elf.com. They have like this huge moving sale. I didn't really buy anything because I didn't need it. Now back into the 9C Morphe Contour and Highlight Palette. I'm going to go ahead and set my actual highlight. This highlight though, or this contour palette is really, really good. Like seriously, it brightens up my makeup, the highlight, but it stays on all day. So the um, long wear is great, but the payoff is really, really great. And I got it on sale for $14.99. Now onto something new and inexpensive if it's Wet n Wild Contour Palette and Dolce de Leche. And I'm really feeling this. Like I love warm colors to contour. And this one is amazing. Like you can go right to Walgreens and pick this up. And the color payoff is great as well as the long wear. So I'm going to be using a Benefits brush that I got with my Benefits Matte Hulu Bronzer. But I really do like this actual Wet n Wild. They stepped their game up like totally 100%. So I will say if you're into contouring you or you want to try it out, check out your local drugstore for this actual palette. It's super inexpensive. It's always on sale. And like I said, it's really, really inexpensive, but it's really a great palette. And I love drugstores. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose and my cupid's bow. As well as that, I'm just going to take my Eco's Tools brush. And I'm going to brush off that excess powder that I use for setting my highlight by Morphe. And... Yeah, just dust that excess powder off. Oh, rather, I'm not dusting it off. I am bronzing some more. Excuse me, contouring some more. I do apologize. So I'm contouring some more with that um, Wet n Wild. And I'm going to take another Eco Tools brush. And I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil to brighten my lower lid or my waterline. And this is just going to help my eyeshadow that I'm going to be applying stay on as well as brighten my eyes. So back into that Morphe 35K palette, I'm going to be using the lightest color in that and my inner tear duct. I'm going to also be using that same first color rustic brown with the Eco Tools uh, small blending brush. I really like this brush a lot because normally I'll use like a bigger brush, which is fine, but this one gets right, 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 precise where you need it to go. And all of these colors I've actually already used on my eyelids, so these are the exact same colors that I used on my upper eyelids. 
Now onto the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I also did get free. Um, it came with like three free products in this box. So I'm going to use that. I like this one only for my lower lashes because the brush is smaller. And you know, your lower lashes are smaller. So I do like to use that for the bottom portion. The Too Faced Size Cream Mascara Brush is way too huge. Though I have used it, but to save time and aggravation, I'm just going to use the smaller um, mascara one. Now one of my favorites is Revolution London Vivid Bronzer, which is Rock on World. This is six bucks at Ulta, and ladies, I'm telling you, any skin complexion can use this bronzer. It's amazing, like really high impact. Now to contour or highlight my nose, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Highlight Palette, a contour and highlighting palette, and I'm gonna set that, and to set my face, as you guys see, I always use this. This is the Milani Multitasker Pressed Powder in Medium Tan. I love this actual, actual face product. It gives me life. Another new fave is my Too Faced Candlelight Glow Dual Highlight in Warm. This product is amazing, like seriously. And I'm gonna use my Eco Tools brush to blend that in. Give me some of that bomb bomb highlight going on right here another freebie which is the Too Faced love flush blush in love hangover and I'm gonna use one of my eco tools bronzing brush I picked this up like like two years ago from Walmart and I really love it it's a nice stiff brush really really amazing brush you can get it from your drugstore the wet and wild seeking or looking for truffles Velvet Matte Lipstick is a great color. I love colors like this because I'm more of a neutral girl. So I love my lips to look so pretty. And to, just to spice it up, I'm going to use their Nude Streak on top of that for that ombre kind of effect. Now to set, now to set my makeup. Once I finish my lips here, I'm going to use the Skin Denevia makeup finishing spray which lasts all day and to do my hair i'm going to be using or i'm going to put on my unit that i made which is by nubian bar and i love this kinky straight hair it's a color number 10 and i'm going to apply some of my topic carotene or topic hair building fibers and some of my elf concealer and i'm going to do a corn roll on the side because ladies it is too too hot out here so I don't like all of the actual hair in my face just to give me a little bit of style I'm gonna go ahead and tuck that braid underneath inside of my wig cap and that is about it for the look this hair is so pretty like I love the color do you see that closure no you don't because it's so late to the call yes face beat hair beat and I'm ready to run out the door so I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay diva and be delicious and I'll see you all on my next video Bye.